guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video where I try to make tech as easy as possible. Today we are in Adobe Flash CS6 and I'm going to be showing you how to create a very neat uh, handwriting effect where it looks like the text is being written on the screen. So if you want to know what that looks like, it looks a little bit something like this here. So as you can see, the text is being written on the screen. Uh, this can be done uh, in a number of programs, but I'm just going to do it in Flash in case that is the only software that you have. So let's go ahead and jump into it and let me show you how to achieve this effect. So it's actually a little, it's not as hard as you may think it is. Uh, go ahead and type your text out on the canvas. It really doesn't matter what you're typing. Just try to center it. It makes it look better, obviously. And then you're going to need to do a few things. The first thing you need to do is check and see what your uh, insert keyframe is the shortcut key, what it is set at. Uh, in order to find that out, you can go to Flash and then go to Keyboard Shortcuts. And then if you need to add a shortcut key, you need to go ahead and duplicate the Adobe Standard here. So you cannot edit the default Adobe Standard and make new shortcut keys. You actually have to go in and duplicate that, which is this little button right here. It says Duplicate Set. Click on that. And then it creates another set called Adobe Standard Copy. And then you can add your own shortcut keys so then you go to insert go down to timeline and then scroll down until you see keyframe so I've set mine to command 5 uh, normally it is set to F5 uh, or control F5 just depending on what kind of machine you're using but if you do not like that you need to change it to something that is easy to access because during this tutorial you will be using it a lot in order to add that shortcut key you will just need to click the addition symbol here and then click OK once you have changed that shortcut key now enough of that the first thing that you're going to want to do is select your text with the direct selection tool and then on your keyboard if you're using a Mac it'll be command on Windows it'll be control hit command or control B command or control B that will now separate the letters and then you want to hit that one more time command or control B once you do that, you should see some transparent dots on the inside of your text. So now that we have that uh, to where we want it there and it's broken up to the smallest possible form, we then want to go ahead and start adding our keyframes. So the way we're going to achieve the handwritten effect is we're going to erase the text from the right to the left. Now, you have to remember one thing. When you're writing text, whether you're right or left-handed, how are you writing a letter out? So if you're writing a T, you're normally going to write this line here and then the cross through it. So you want to erase backwards. So however you would do it, you want to erase that backwards. So on a T, you want to erase the line through it first and then do the, the line up and down. So what you want to do is go ahead and make sure that there's a keyframe here at the beginning, which is your text in you know full form here. And then once you do that, grab your eraser tool, which is right up here uh, under your toolbox there. Uh, the shortcut key for that is E. Once you have your eraser key selected, you then want to add a keyframe by using that shortcut key that you just created, whether it be F5 or Command 5, whatever it may be. So go ahead and do Command or F5, whatever it is, create and insert a keyframe. And if you do not want to use shortcut keys, it will take you a lot longer. You can go up to Insert, Timeline, Keyframe just like that okay once you've inserted that keyframe go ahead and erase a little bit off of that letter so just click on it one time now it's been erased just a little bit now remember the smaller the selection that you erase the tighter the the handwritten effect will be so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that now because I messed up there you're supposed to do the line across here so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and the keyframe is already added and then we'll just go ahead and click right here and then we'll go ahead and add another keyframe then we'll keep doing that. So what you're doing here is you're adding keyframes, and as you add a keyframe, you're erasing one little area, okay? So I'm continuing on here, and I'm erasing, and I'm adding keyframes before I erase the area on the text. 
So you continue doing this, and again, this is going to be a little rough selection here because I'm doing this as I am talking and explaining it, so it's a little more difficult to do that. But once you are done with that and you have all of this stuff done, you'll then need to do one more step. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until I get to that step, but you're not going to miss a thing. All right, once you have all of your keyframes created and you have erased the whole word, uh, your last keyframe should look like this and it should not have any text on the screen, okay? So you continue on adding the keyframes and erasing from right to left. Now the last thing you want to do, since we did it from right to left, you're going to need to reverse these keyframes down here. So in order to do that, select the keyframe number one and then scroll all the way down until the last keyframe, whatever number that may be, and then click shift and then click on that last keyframe. That will select all of your keyframes within the timeline. You will then want to right click somewhere on the timeline and then go down right here where you see reverse frames and click on that. That will now reverse the frame so that the completed text will be at the right and the beginning of the you know where there's no text will be at the left. So go ahead and scroll on over to the left. Uh, deselect all of your timeline, select the first keyframe, and then press the play button right down here beneath your timeline. So now, guys, you're getting to see the nice drawn-out text that you just have created within Adobe Flash. Again, play around with the way you're writing the letters because it will look a little goofy like that one did there on the X, but it's a really neat effect. It can impress your friends and family, and uh, go try that now within Adobe Flash. Tell me what you think. If you have any Flash tutorials you want to see, put them in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. If this video helped you, go ahead and put it in the comment box below and tell me that. Like this video, subscribe for more great content, and I will see you guys next time.